All right, we're going to use Cloudflare free uh, CDN to host our some of our PBNs. Um, this works really well if you have a small PBN under 10. If you have more than that, then you know you might want to look into uh, PBN hosting. But for just a few sites that you want to separate from your your regular GoDaddy account, so you have a shared hosting with multiple accounts in there, and you want to kind of you know link them to each other without it looking too bad. This is a a quick get around. All right, so for for this example, I'm going to use just one of my little secondary sites. It's not not a very important site, so it could be considered kind of like a a PBN. So let's just go ahead and see what's that email. All right, so first thing you're going to do is put in your, your website here. This one is hosted at GoDaddy. The system is scanning your setup. So. This will take about 60 seconds. During this time, we wanted to tell you a bit about how Cloudflare works. So just grab all our Apps. DNS records you here. Website to be faster, safer, or and then what we're, we're going to do is just pick the, software the couple that we code. want. If you think about it, that's also known And then we're not going to forward the rest today, of them that way. Cloudflare works at the network level by taking over your domain. And we're going to leave just a, the least amount of footprint as possible. There's still going to be a footprint just because millions of people use Cloudflare, so millions of people are going to have the same kind of name servers. But we need that's, to copy all your current DNS records. You know, the that's normal. Over. On the next page, we've that's copied in, what uh, we can find. A and, and a lot of people DNS don't do this for PBNs. They, they do it for their main so site. So and add any records we it's not like a PBN the footprint or anything like that. Up. As soon as it appears, click the green button below. The next steps are easy and usually take less time than you've spent watching this video. All right. So what we want is the www and the uh, the URL right there. The rest of these that you see on these two are orange, and this one's orange also. Usually, I just keep uh, these two, the www and the uh, main one. So we'll get rid of these. Get rid of all these. All right, and we'll just click the free version. Okay, so now what we have to do is go into our GoDaddy account or other hosting account and then change our name servers. These will be the current ones, and these will be what we have to change to. All right. Let me uh, log into GoDaddy and get that ready. All right, and then once you get into your GoDaddy account or other hosting account, just click on your domain under the domain section, go over to name servers, and say set name servers. And then here you'll have, you'll see the NS11 domain control that we saw in the Cloudflare. So we'll just go to custom. Enter custom name servers and then all right, copy that second one. And the good thing is, is 
they have a whole bunch of these different ones and they randomize them. So they randomize them. So there's a good chance that if you put different sites on here, you might have a couple different name servers. So it'll help give them a little bit more, uh, you know, anonymity. All right. And it's all done. It could take, you know, up to 24 hours to take effect. And we are successful. Thanks a lot.